Hey, welcome back to the show. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. Alongside Tim Elefante, I'm Willem Klein, and thanks for joining us. Also, shout out to Rebecca Racine. Thanks for joining the crew this morning. Have a great visit. Apologies for any tech issues. We do our best to work through them. Okay, let's get started. Up first is a community announcement from the Kinelon Public Library. Attention all, the Kinelon Public Library is hosting several, event, several community events. The Kinelon Public Library is hosting a Hatha Yoga class Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. starting March 19th through April 23rd. Please bring your own towel or mat. Class size is limited, so register now to ensure a spot. The Kinelon Public Library is holding a writing and publishing workshop on Thursday, March 24th at 6.30 p.m. The Kinelon Library is hosting an artist drawing workshop every Thursday from 4 to 5.30 p.m. March 31st through April 21st. For more information about all the events, go to www.kinelonpubliclibrary.org or call 973-838-1321 or just stop by in person at the library, 132 Kinelon Road. Okay, here are the school announcements. Attention all, the Honors Midwinter Concert is tomorrow, Wednesday, March 16th, 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Come out, enjoy some music, and support the musical arts and performers here at KHS. Attention Culinary Club members. The Culinary Club will be meeting this Wednesday, March 16th, after school. Please sign up with Ms. Garrahy if you plan to attend. Attention both freshman and junior student council officers and reps. Again, freshman and junior student council reps. There will be an important meeting today, Tuesday, March 15th, after school in room 215. The meeting is about fundraising opportunities. Please see either Mr. Del Piano or Mr. Padola in advance if you cannot attend. Attention sophomore class officers and reps, again sophomores. There will be a brief sophomore class officer and representative meeting tomorrow, Wednesday, March 16th, after school in room 106. All officers and class reps must attend. Please see Ms. Gola with any questions. Attention seniors, again seniors. Many local organizations have scholarship applications available. The deadlines are fast approaching. The Kinelon Home and School Association scholarships are now available. Access the HSA scholarships along with many other scholarship opportunities, all through the Naviance website or speak with your school counselor. The scholarship links are also uh, available on the Kinelon website under the guidance section. For all people interested in varsity jackets, there will be a fitting during lunch on Thursday, March 17th. The cost of a jacket is $340. A $200 deposit for Thursday's fitting is suggested, but not mandatory. Please see Mr. DeColo if you cannot attend. Reminder, the Mr. Kinelon contest is Wednesday, March 30th. The show will take place at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Contestants, you all receive packets regarding show information. Look it over and follow the guidelines. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Sapia. Attention social outreach club members. There are volunteer opportunities available. Stop by room 212 and check out Ms. Scheibling's bulletin board to sign up. We will be right back after this feature segment about the video internship program held nearby at Architect Music. With more, producer Sarah Shelstovsky provides this report. Here's the video. The internship program is for, uh, it's kind of a pilot program for Architect TV. And what that is is a, a digital online entity where we record educational shorts we record live band performances and then we do a whole bunch of other fun random videos of stuff going on who is currently involved in the program uh currently steph lenge and sam flaterman um they're here more than other people we have a handful of other interns as well what does a typical working day look like for an intern there is no such thing as a typical working day. Well, it's slightly different for each intern at Architect. For me, I'm there every Monday just taking pictures of what's going on at Architect, inside and out, just what everyone's doing that day, basically students and teachers. I've taken um, some photos in the, in the past, um, which is basically just I'm given a camera and I can go around and take photos. That's what I did at first. And then recently I've been given footage and I take it home on my computer and I edit it. Do you think being involved in this program will help you later in life? Absolutely. It's a great experience, and there's great people you're working with, and it's just a great place to be, in all honesty. Are there any requirements for interns? Do you look for like a certain skill set? Um, I would say either behind the camera or editing skills. And on top of that, uh, just somebody who's able to understand that uh, schedules can just change randomly and um, be okay with that. Would you recommend doing the program to your peers, and why? 
Um, yes, absolutely recommend. The experience is extremely valuable. The environment is very realistic um, to uh, what I imagine it is in, in real life. It's just a great place to be. Again, you get good experience with what you do, you learn more about how to work with other people, and you get to see how everyone works kind of in a place like that, how everyone works to make the place better. Is it worth doing the internship? Absolutely. I think um, the experience is extremely valuable and I get to meet a lot of awesome people and, and it's really fun. In general, just really fun. And what is your favorite part about working at Architect? The people are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Like, I guess the shenanigans, because the people are so cool. So when I'm just, I'll be sitting on my computer um, you know, at one of the desks and I just like hear everyone interacting with each other and making jokes and the environment's really very, very professional. But at the same time, everyone's really good friends with each other. So that's awesome. Definitely the people. Just being around people I love, doing what I love. It's just a great group there. There's not a single person I'll ever get bored of being with there. Thanks goes out to former KHS grad and owner of Architect, Kurt Wubbenhorst, for providing time for the interview. Architect has recorded Grammy-nominated groups like Seven Dust, and many KHS students take advantage of their music of the music lessons offered at Architect. If you're interested in lessons or the video internship program, stop by the studio or contact Kurt via email, kurt at architectmusic.com. Moving along. Okay, on to a few sports announcements. Attention spring sport athletes. All athletic information for spring sports is posted on Twitter. Athletic practice schedules for the month of March are posted daily on Twitter at khs underscore underscore sports or by viewing the Twitter feed on the KHS Athletic Department website. Schedules are posted daily by 12.30 p.m. Attention all, the KAA 5K is Sunday, April 17th. Mark your calendars now and come out to support one of the biggest fundraisers of the year. More information can be found at www.kea5k.org. You can catch updates for activities, athletics, and news on our Twitter accounts at KHS underscore sports or at Kinelon HS or on the KHS district webpage. You can watch replays of the show on our KHS webpage, Colts news page, or YouTube. Just search for the Kinelon High School channel. Today's show was produced by Ellie Debrino and Michaela Bello. Our director today was Ryan Griffin. Our technical director was Chuck Swanson. That's it for today. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, KHS.